Hey Cloud Gurus, and welcome to this episode of Azure This Week. In this episode, we're going to take a look at two recent public preview announcements for Azure Blob Storage, lifecycle management and immutable storage. We'll also look at the public preview of Azure AD Password Protection. Let's start with taking a look at the two public preview announcements for Azure Blob Storage, starting off with Data Lifecycle Management, or DLM. Last year, Microsoft introduced blob level tiering, which enabled you to flag storage blobs as being either hot, cool, or archive without having to move the data around. So if you had data stored in a hot storage tier, but as it's aged, it's just not really, really being accessed, you can optimize performance and cost by moving it to either the cool or archive tier. However, this is a change you had to make manually, and there was plenty of customer feedback asking for an automated process the data tiering and retention using policies. And this is where data lifecycle management comes in. You can build your own data policies which detail which blobs are impacted and when those blobs should be moved from one tier to another based on a particular metric, such as the number of days since that data was last accessed and after what period of time the data or the blob snapshots should be erased. The public preview isn't automatically available in your Azure subscription. You need to submit a support request to have it enabled. And once it has been approved, then you'll need to use either Azure PowerShell or Azure CLI to register the new Microsoft.Storage provider feature. Read more about DLM here, as well as some sample policies to get started with. Keeping on the theme of storage, let's take a look at immutable storage for blobs. This is a feature which enables you to hold data in an immutable state for a given period of time. Immutable being that the data can be read but cannot be modified or deleted. This is of particular importance in industries with strict requirements around data regulation, protection, and retention, such as financial services, healthcare, media, and legal. Data immutability is also completely independent of the storage tier. So as the blob which holds your immutable data moves through hot, cool, and archive tiers, the immutability properties move with it. Finally, let's take a look at the public preview of password protection for Azure AD. Password protection is essentially designed to protect your users from themselves, or more specifically, the very bad habit of using easy to remember passwords. If you yourself have ever used a password, which was the word password with a capital P and dollar signs and a zero, then I hate to say it, but you're not the only one who ever had that idea. Just to prove it, have a read of this news article which lists the top 100 most common passwords as provided by Have I Been Pwned. As the article says, if you're using any of these passwords or a variation, please stop. Azure AD Password Protection actively prevents your users from using passwords from a list of over 500 common passwords and over a million alpha numeric variations. You can also add entries to the banned password list, which is constantly being updated. The idea here isn't to make life more difficult for users, at least that's what we tell them, uh, but rather to recognize the fact that password complexity isn't really an effective means of protecting a password. The string at the core of the password is still very simple. And unfortunately, people tend to apply complexity rules in very predictable ways. This XKCD comic shows why a simple, easy to remember long password is exponentially more difficult to guess or brute force than a shorter password which adheres to password complexity policies. And in fact, Microsoft is actually now recommending that password complexity policies in enterprise organizations be lifted entirely. That's it for this episode of Azure This Week, where we looked at the public previews of data lifecycle management and immutable storage for Azure storage blobs and the public preview of password protection for Azure AD. Until next week, keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.